hello everyone welcome back to the channel if you are interested in on video editing a new model named edito was released it is scaling instruction model for video editing with high quality of synthetic data it overcomes the limitation of existing model for style changing and video editing its architecture augmented by temporal enhancer reduces computational resource and give you good consistency the model was trained with 12,000 gpu to get a data set of 1 million parameters so today I will show you how to render in Comfy UI and more importantly how you can optimize the workflow for low VRAM graphic card users using my custom workflow. You should be able to edit your video more easily. So without further ado, let's dive into a tutorial. Okay, before starting, let me first show you the official website of uh, Edito uh, model. Here, if you scroll down, you can see uh, the information about the model and how it was trained. And if you go down a little further, you can see the example provided by this uh, company. Here you can clearly see that it allows you to change your video style while preserving the character movement. We have another example here, and you can choose any style that you want, whether it is Ghibli, anime, or even uh, classic sculpture. So it works perfectly fine. You can see here that they added a beer. Uh, standing on the forest or you can change the clothes of a person while uh, the video is playing the same goes for the background too and you can also play with the lighting more examples are also provided here and it specially focuses on style changing of the video and the best thing uh, that i found on this model it allows you to preserve your uh, character movement and poses without uh, using any control net or uh, additional steps in order to edit your video now let's head up to comfy ui once you open up comfy ui you don't necessarily need to do some updates all you have to do is uh, drag and drop my workflow and go directly to the model section here as you can see i am using a 1 2.1 vase model uh, gg web version we are also using the, or the 1 2.1 vae and the 1 2.1 cause with lora in order to reduce the steps as for the Edito model, there are two versions. This one is a LoRa file, which allows you to save a lot of VRAM, and it can make the workflow run smoothly while doing the same uh, job. So as you can see, it is also a base LoRa Edito model. And the first thing to do here is to go directly to the model link. I put here uh, all the necessary model for you in order to use this workflow. Here you will need the, the one video text encoder. You can use the BF16 version, but for my case, I am using the FB8 version. Before using this version, you need to know that uh, this workflow is based on KGI nodes. So you need uh, to, to use uh, this uh, one video text embed bridge in order for you to use the, the FB8 version of the text encoder. So it is a little trick that you need to know before going any further. You will also need the VAE. I am also using the BF16 VAE for one 2.1 model. Then the next model that you need it is the one video based model GGUF version. You can click on, uh, on this link and you will be directed uh, toward uh, this model. I am using the one base uh, Q4 uh, version, but there is also the Q8 version. All you have to do here is downloading the necessary model, then go to ConfUI root folder, then enter unit folder. And make sure to put the one base GGUF version under a unit folder. As for the VAE, make sure to put uh, the file under VAE uh, subfolder. And for uh, the text encoder, make sure to put this under clip. Once it is done, you will have to download one last uh, file. And it is the LoRa Edito file. You can just use the link provided with the workflow. If you take a closer look, you can see that there is a global LoRa folder, the global style and uh, the sim to real uh, model so for this video i only focuses uh, on the global uh, lora style and it works perfectly fine maybe i will try to test out this uh, two other loras but for now this one do the job uh, perfectly fine okay once the download is finished make sure to put your file under the lora subfolder restart your comfy ui and we are good to go okay let's go back to the workflow again and first let's uh, start with the model make sure to select all the necessary models starting with the lora the cause with lora the one base model and the one vae model once it is done you can clearly see here that we have the one video block swap for those who don't know what is the block swap it's uh, a technique that allows you to reduce the vram usage 
by swapping blocks to CPU memory. So while generating your video, the CPU will uh, participate to the video generation and it allows you to reduce the, your VRAM. And uh, the main parameters here is the block to swap value. Uh, you can, uh, as default, it was set to 38, but I reduced it to 20. You can also play around with these parameters in order for you to save time while the video is generating. For this video, I did not optimize the, the parameters for these nodes. So if you already did, make sure to let me know what is the best value in the comment section below. The same goes for the Torch compiled setting. It is a method that allows you to reduce uh, the generation time and the VRAM usage. And it works like the Sage Attention. You can uh, try to bypass it if you don't need it. But if you have a low VRAM, I strongly suggest you to use it. And the next step uh, to focus on is input video. And here you have to load your input video that you want uh, to do some editing. As you can see on the left, we have the height and the width the value. Since I have a low VRAM graphic card, I am using those parameters. But you can go ahead and increase your resolution if you want a better results. Of course, it will comes at the cost of uh, video generation time and it will uh, take uh, longer. The same goes for the video length. Here I am setting uh, 44 frames, which is uh, equivalent to practically 3 seconds of video generation. And you can uh, go ahead and uh, double this value if you want uh, more video length. Our video is then upscaled with this resize image v2. We have here the results of the upscaling. We have this node, uh, get image size count, which will uh, extract the information like the width, the height, and the frame number, but also the video upscaled in order to transfer directly to this sampling uh, subgroups. And here we have different input, starting with the compile arguments that comes from the Torch compile nodes. Then we have the block swap arguments that comes for this uh, block swap uh, nodes too. We have the LoRa, which is uh, the cost weight and the vase edit LoRa. And we have the vase model here. You can also observe that we have uh, other inputs that can uh, use the extra model, the VRAM uh, argument management. But uh, I did not try it uh, for now. I also forget to tell you about the 1.2.1 text to video model, which is also necessary. Uh, you can also find the provided link here. You can download this version. I am using a GGO version of the text to video model and uh, you can select it here. The base precision is set to FP16. The quantization is disabled and uh, I found out that it doesn't work well with the GGOF models. For the attention mode, you can use the Sage Attention if you have uh, uh, the Sage Attention installed. Then the others, you can uh, leave it as it is. After that, all uh, the data of uh, the models are transferred directly to one video sampler here, where we have the steps set to 4, thanks to the cause with LoRa. The CFG is set to 1, the shift it is set to 5, but you can reduce it to 2, since higher value work best for video generation and not for video editing. The scheduler is set to DPM++ SDU, and we have a denoise strength of 1. Okay, once it is uh, completed, it's gonna be decoded using this node and the first result is gonna be saved here. But since it is a video editing uh, workflow, we have here this image embeds that comes directly from this one video base node. So here you can see that we are using the VAE, the input frames that we transformed using this uh, resize image nodes. Then we have the width, the height and the frame number related to our uh, video. The reference image is empty here and the input mask is empty too since we don't necessarily need a reference image to use this node as it was the case previously. We have also the strength, it is set to 1. I did not uh, try to vary these parameters but you can leave it uh, as 1, it works uh, perfectly fine. The last step uh, here that you need to do is prompting. As you can see, I set here a series of style prompt that you can use in order to transform your video. And the best thing that I like for uh, about this model, it is uh, we don't need complex prompt. All you have to do is putting a simple uh, words here, like make it sculptured with gold. Or you can uh, turn it into Ghibli style or turn it into Lego style. And that's it. After that, the one video text embed bridge that works uh, only with the, the FP8 version of this uh, T5 model is gonna take into consideration our text.
that will be plugged directly here into one video sampler in order to edit or transform our video and the last step is upscaling group as you can see here we are using an upscaling uh, notes with upscaling model in order to increase the resolution of our video once it is done it's gonna be saved here using this video combine and once it is upscaled arrive a group in order to increase the frame length is also set here to give you the best results while upscaling your video it will double your frame rate while uh, having high resolution results so if you are looking for a high resolution video with good frame rate you can enable this part okay for the first test i used this style lego in order to transform this video as you can see it managed to create uh, the lego style of this character while preserving the details like the door behind it and uh, it did not completely change the video i also did some tests with this bronze style and it, uh, it changed character uh, age however it also changed the style of the video yeah, to bronze style image i also noticed that this video doesn't have um, the noise created while it uh, generates as you can see the video looks smooth and clear even at low resolution and lastly this one is my best the laura style video it works perfectly fine it preserves the character and uh, it gives us uh, also smooth transition so for the results part, uh, I did not uh, try a good number of styles uh, since I have a low VRAM graphic card. So it take me uh, too much time to generate one video. I think uh, it took me with this uh, parameters around one hour to create only those uh, two seconds uh, of video. However, if you have higher graphic card, all you have to do here is change the resolution and increase the length of your uh, video. It will transform your video while preserving the consistency of uh, the video, like the poses and the movement. So it is a good model to try it. I also did not. Uh, I also only focused uh, focusing on the style changing. I did not try uh, uh, video editing use case like uh, swapping object or adding uh, objects. So maybe I will do that on the uh, next video. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel, leave me some comments down below, and don't forget to become a Patreon member of my Patreon page where you can get early access to my workflow and ask me for additional help. So thank you.